My name is Naoto. I'm 21 years old and I've been working at a small local factory for three years now. Hey, Naoto, it's your third year anniversary at the company, isn't it? Let's go out for a drink tonight. I'm buying. What? Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll take you to a slightly more adult bar theme this time. An adult bar? Yeah. The bar he took me to was... Isn't this a hostess bar? Yeah, you're an adult now, aren't you? Oh no, I've never been to this kind of place. Hello, I'm Saika. Thank you for choosing me today. Huh? No way, it's Naoto. Reina? There's no way. Reina was three years older than me. We grew up together in an orphanage. Hey, it's Sayaka. Do you remember me? Of course I remember you. How could I forget you? It's definitely Reina. I brought my junior colleague with me today. His name is Naoto. Please be gentle with him, Sayaka. You didn't need to mention my name. Oh, I see. Oh, my phone's ringing. I should go pick this up. My colleague left the room and the atmosphere became awkward. You're Reina, right? Yeah, it's been a while, Naokun. Naokun, that's a name I've missed. I didn't know you were back in your hometown. You should have called me. I was thinking of going to Tokyo after I got a job. I tried calling you once, but your phone number had changed and I couldn't get a hold of you. Reina had moved to Tokyo after graduating from high school to find a job. I moved and I changed my phone number. But why did you come back here? Well, you don't need to know that. Is something troubling you? Hey, Naoto, what are you doing talking to Sayaka? We're just uh, making small talk. More importantly, was the call about work? It was just to let me know about a shift change. Well, let's forget about work and enjoy our evening. I couldn't ask Reina about anything important that day. After a while, I left the bar. The next day, I was really curious about Reina, so I visited the bar alone. Now, Kun, are you here again? You shouldn't come to a place like this. There's no other way to see you, right, Reina? Are you in some kind of trouble? You don't need to know anything about that. Don't say things like that. We've been helping each other all our lives. So loud! I can't talk about it here. I'll text you tonight. I waited for Reina to text me that night. On my day off, I went to Reina's apartment to talk to her. I went to the address that she gave me. It was a very old apartment. Reina must be in trouble. Reina seemed to be living a modest life, living in a very bleak apartment. Don't ever tell anyone this, okay? My last job was going well but I ended up dating a strange guy. He didn't work and I would give him money to live, which ended up putting me in debt. Don't tell me. He didn't hurt you physically, did he? Um, he did a few times. I can't ever forgive that behavior. That man is a leech. I broke up with him and ran away, but in order to pay off my debt, I had to start working in the hostess bar. Reina! Let me help you pay off the debt. What are you talking about? It's my debt, so I'll pay it back. You have helped me before, Reina. Now it's my turn to help you. No, you can't. You shouldn't get involved in my life. You have your own life to live, so don't come to the hostess bar anymore. But I'm worried about you, Reina. If you come to the bar again, it'll cost you a lot of money. I just want you to be happy. I also want you to be happy, Reina. I'm done talking about this. I want to go out, so can you go back home now? No, I'm not leaving. We finally met up again. I don't want to go home yet. I want to spend more time catching up with you. Hmm. Then will you do something that feels good with me? Huh? No, I didn't mean it like that. I just genuinely wanted to talk. At my age, I've had my fill of both the good and the bad. I'm not the same person I was back then. Don't try to make me out to be someone I'm not anymore! Please, go home! I'm gonna save you, Reina. 
So, I want to do something that feels good with you after we finish paying off your debt together. Don't ask anyone else to do something that feels good anymore. What? Reyna was trying her best to keep me away from her, but I managed to hold on. In the confusion, I told her my true feelings for her. Reyna and I grew up together in an orphanage called the House of the Lamb. I was raised by my mother after my parents divorced, but she passed away in an accident a year later. There was no one to take me in, so I ended up in the orphanage when I was in the first grade. This is the house where you'll live as from today, Naoto. So you must be Naokun. I'm Reyna. I'm in the fourth grade. Nice to meet you, Naokun. Yeah. I remember that moment vividly. I was so nervous. Reyna was a very friendly girl. Naokun, do you want to play cards with me? Um, I've never played cards before. Ever. Oh, you spoke! You've only said um since you got here. Ah, hmm. There you go. Back to um again. Reyna's cheerfulness helped me to gradually open up to her. When I was in the third grade, I was playing in a puddle in the rain and got my shoes dirty. Hey, what's wrong? I got my shoes dirty, and I don't want to go back to the orphanage because I'm afraid I'll get scolded. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Reyna skillfully explained to the staff and covered for me. I used to follow Reyna around like a goldfish. Then I entered the third grade. Oh no! Are you finally taller than me? Oh! I'm taller than you! You were so small when you first got here. Anyway, did you find a job? I did find a job. I'll be working in the next prefecture. Now I just have to find an apartment. I see. That's great! Huh? You're gonna be lonely without Reyna? You can't live without your sister Reyna? You're so weak. That's not true. Now that you've got a job, you'll still come back here to visit, right? It might be difficult unless I save up some money. Reyna was about to graduate from high school and her departure from the orphanage was fast approaching. I was shocked to hear that I wasn't going to be able to see her often. On the day of her departure... Well, I'm off then. I'll be in touch. Ah, uh, I couldn't tell her that I liked her, but I guess she only thought of me as her little brother. Naoto, what's the irritated look on your face? When a man is frustrated like that, it means he's in love, right? There are plenty of cases where two people grow up in the same orphanage and end up getting married as adults. Good luck to the both of you. Ah, he was right on the money. I felt embarrassed when I realized that Saito was watching me so closely. I started making my way to high school at the same time Reina left. Hey, Sauto, can I take the train to the next prefecture? Hmm, that's a little difficult. What do you want to do there? I'm just asking. I want to go see Reina. Now that I have finally managed to reunite with Reina, she didn't look very happy. I wanted to do something to help her. If I could just pay off her debt. I started working night shifts at a construction site. I would do anything to help Reyna. This is heavy. On a day off from my construction job, I wanted to see Reyna, so I waited outside of the hostess bar for her to finish work. Then I saw Reyna with a man who seemed to be a customer walking behind the bar. Saika, why haven't you come to see me lately? Please come inside the bar. I'll be waiting for you. It's okay, just play with me. Hey. I'm very serious about you. Please, stop it! Hey, what you doing? Who on earth are you? Shut up, I'm Sayaka's guest. Can't you see she doesn't like you? I'm calling the police. Someone from the hostess bar immediately came outside and the guy was taken away. Come with me, Reyna. What? What's wrong? It's okay, it's just for a minute. I wanna talk to you. Thank you. That guy used to be a customer. He's been acting like a stalker lately, and I've been having some trouble with him. When did you become such a man? I'm surprised. I can't call you weak anymore. I'm glad you're okay. You should quit that job. I can't do that. I'm working a part-time job at night to help you out. If you need to work to pay off your debt, you should get a safer job. 
I've been in love with you since we were kids. I can't stand to see the person I love suffering. Let's get married. What? You want to get married all of a sudden? But I still have a debt. You don't have to do that much for me. I know you better than anyone knows you. I have no doubt that we'll be happy living together. If we get married, the debt will be ours and we can pay it off faster. I want to be with you, Reyna. Neither of us have any relatives. Let's start our own family. Ever since we met again, I've had my eyes on you. I used to think of you as my little brother, but you've grown up now. It's nice to see this side of you. Woohoo! We might be living close to poverty for a little while. No problem. We're used to being poor, right? I guess so. Hey, can I stay at your place tonight? Okay, but I'm not gonna do anything that feels good with you until I've paid off my debt. You agreed to that yourself, didn't you? What? No way! We're getting married, remember? I don't think I can marry someone who can't keep their word. That's a fair point. Thus, my long-time unrequited love finally bore fruit. I'm sure she's gonna turn my world upside down, but I'm happy, so whatever. <laughs>